Now then guys, how's it going? I've got another video for you about gradient removal and another bit of breaking news. Really, if you will, uh, a friend of mine has just let me know that uh, Gradient Expert has now got a tool integration directly into PixInsight. And it's really cool. I've just taken a look at it literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, it's worth noting, um, my friend Sasha Vis from the channel View Into Space has got a video about this as well. It put up just a couple of days ago talking about this exact thing, uh, only it's changed again ever so slightly from when he uh, published his video. So if you have the latest version of Gradient Expert downloaded, I literally just went and got it from this website right here, of course, the main page, gradientexpert.com. Download and install whichever version of it you are going to run for your operating system. So for me, that was Windows. And once you've got it all kind of set up and making sure it's all installed and working, you can then go ahead and do this. So using this link right here, idevisapps.de forward slash pixels light forward slash utilities. Uh, don't try and open it like a URL because it's, it's not. I've just got it open for the sake of showing you right here. Um, it is simply a link to a repository. So you're going to copy that link right there. Open up your PixInsight. Go to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories. Click Add, paste in that link, and then click OK. And it should add this right here. So iDeviceApps.de, as we just mentioned. And it'll add that for you right there. Click OK. Click Resources once again, Updates, and check for updates. It should find that it needs to install that update right there. Go ahead, let it do that. It'll restart PixInsight. Uh, it'll install it, should I say, the next time you restart PixInsight. Uh, and then you'll be ready to go. If all has gone well, you will have underneath Scripts and Toolbox this Gradient Expert right there integrated as a tool. Now, whatever you downloaded Gradient Expert to, I recommend making a copy of that. And for me, I just dropped it straight into my PixInsight folder. Whatever it is. Um, there we go, Pixie Insight new. <laughs> so I just copied it straight into this Gradient Expert Win64, just so it'd be very easy to find for the next step. You don't have to do this, but you do need to click that little uh, spanner icon and point it to wherever you do have it on your system. So for me, it's in Pixie Insight. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and click open. Now, before we run it on something, I'm just going to show you this is completely you know, untouched data, this is just stacked up, uh, not even cropped. You do have to crop to get the right results from this thing, so I'm going to run dynamic crop. Just really quickly, we'll keep this as raw as possible. Um, it is flipped the wrong way around, I don't think it'll matter, but it'll bug me if I don't straighten it up, so there you go. And now, uh, scripts, toolbox, and gradient expert, and I'm just going to hit the tick, and let's see. Uh, exactly what happens now I've run this once <laughs> before before making this video and it all worked really well so I thought right let's just get straight on with it um, it does pop up a little mention here in the uh, in the tool panel letting you know that if you have um, TensorFlow updated you know for your uh, NVIDIA graphics card if you have one with CUDA cores you can use CUDA acceleration to make this thing run faster I don't have it set up because I'm just terribly lazy like that. And it runs pretty much fast enough anyway for me. Uh, but look at that result, <laughs> you know, straight away. If you just make a copy of that, that's the Gradient Expert version. And this is what we were working with just a moment ago. It's done a really wonderful job. I mean, one button click and it's looking about as good as I could have ever gotten it with uh, well, I don't think I could have got it this good with DBE, but uh, at least with APP's gradient removal tools, I could have probably got it close, but it would have taken ages. You know what I mean? Lots of messing around and trial and error. Uh, again, so we've got some Sol Rasa data here. This is flipped too. Let's just strain it up for the sake of it. The great way around. Try it once again. This time it's got a bit more of a, uh, a complex gradient by the looks of it to me. We seem to have a brighter bottom left, uh, a darker top right as well as some uncorrected vignette present in this image, actually, in uh, in all the corners, of course. So it'll be interesting to see uh, exactly what happens. So script, toolbox, gradient expert. Once again, I'm just going to just run it, defaults, uh, and see exactly how this goes. That first um, tulip nebula image, though, was very impressive. And if that's anything to go by, I think this is probably going to be my go-to uh, background extraction 
gradient removal tool, if you will. Now, I know a lot of people have been mentioning it to me in the comments, and I'm sorry I haven't gone around to testing it sooner. I, uh, <laughs> I haven't got an excuse for you. I'm just terrible at these kind of things. Uh, but I'm, I'm here now. I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, that's stunning, actually. <laughs> wow. We just take a look once again. So this is the Gradient Expert version and what we were working with just before. One button click has taken it from this to this. That's absolutely tremendous, guys. I mean, it seems to be a really neat, smooth integration now into PixInsight. Um, you know, having to like open up the tool, as I understand that's what you had to do before. Import, uh, export your image from PixInsight, import it back once you're finished with it. Uh, none of that anymore. It's all just baked in and I have nothing bad to say about it whatsoever. It seems really good. Uh, that is about it from me. I want to keep this as short as possible. I hope that that's been useful in raising awareness about this thing. Uh, and I'm probably going to leave it there. Now, I will say, when PixInsight's own gradient removal, uh, the Mars project tool is done, I do want to run kind of a comparison between the Mars tool, uh, Gradient Expert, DBE itself, uh, as well as Astro Pixel Processor's uh, light pollution removal tool as well. I think that could be pretty good and uh, maybe make for an interesting video and arm people looking at making a purchasing decision too, whether you think you want to uh, opt for any other software. But anyway, it's free. It's available right now. Go on, give it a go. It's a load of fun. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support as always. I appreciate you all. Uh, and I just will let you know as well, for anybody who's missed my recent community post, um, aside from short update videos like this, which just, you know, neither here nor there, they're very easy to record and make. Um, I will be probably lowering down my upload schedule just a little bit to uh, facilitate better videos, basically, and a better mental state, because uh, trying to get videos out every single week is a bit crushing um, after a few years of it. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to aim to get things out when they're ready. And I hope that's okay with you guys. Anyway, until the next one, got no but love for you all, and I will see you around. Close, guys.